everyone, Edgy Berserker here with Bloody Roar 2. Good news, I don't have to go through all of arcade mode. Um, I am going to just download a save with all the characters unlocked, so I don't have to worry about the uh, two secret characters in the game. Hey! <laughs> Anyways, we're going to continue our story mode. Uh, I'm going to skip by this intro part. Okay. Stun story, Return of the Bug Guy. Oh shit, I didn't even realize they all had like little fucking stuff happening. Oh, Godot, he's unlocked too, that's awesome. Okay, regardless, there's like one more secret character, but I might just use the save for that because it's a pain in the butt because I have to beat arcade mode with no continues. Fuck that. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna do stun story, Return of the Bug Guy. And I am going to pass by all this because we saw it all in Yugo's story. So I figured instead of reading this and reading Zoanthro like billions of times, we'll just skip that. <laughs> Professor Steven Goldberg was a brilliant young mo molecular biologist at the forefront of his field. He was hired by a major pharmaceutical company where he devoted himself to unlocking the scientific mystery behind the phenomenon that rocked the very foundation of science, the morphing of humans into zoanthros. By chance, he learned that a Japanese colleague, Dr. Busuzima, was performing barbarous experiments on live zoanthro subjects. Dr. Goldborg turned to the superiors, but the experiments were actually a top-secret project for his institute's parent company, Tylon. Dr. Goldborg also learned that his own research was linked to the sinister project. He was racked with guilt over unwittingly lending himself to the forces of evil. Before he could go to press, Dr. Goldberg was kidnapped by Tylon agents. Goldberg. Goldberg. I see but I like that. That yeah, that's a but. <laughs> Busuzima surgically transformed the hapless captive into a Zoanthro now called Stun, an insectoid even less human the, than the other Zoanthros. This biologically and medically mismatched combination of human and insect form gave Stun a highly unstable body requiring regular doses of cell cellular stabilizer from Busuzima in order to survive. Stun escaped Busuzima's clutches during the raid on the laboratory by the rebel Z Zoanthros. But unable to do anything about his condition, he is forced to hide his gradually deteriorating body in an abandoned buildings. He spends his days thinking only of the poor innocent victims of his research. With no hope of tomorrow, his obsessive desire of revenge against Busuzima is all that sustains him. Sadness and anger are his only companions. My body won't last much longer. I need medicine to control this rejection. This stabilizes my DNA, but I have no way to synthesizing it. All I need are hormones of any normal human possesses. <sighs> Someone's coming. Wait, I sense something. The resonance between fellow zoanthros. I need to fucking put a blanket on, guys, before I continue on with this intense story. Because my feet are fucking cold. And I'm cold... <laughs> <laughs> no one wants a cold edgy. Okay. Did Busuzima sent you after me? I don't care. Nothing matters anymore. I have sinned against humanity. I'm tired of hiding. So, if you're going to kill me, then kill me. You are quite philosophical about death, but I wouldn't call it noble. Cowardly is a better word for it. Are you calling me a coward? You can feel I, I, you can feel sorry for yourself, but just stop broadcasting that wimpy whining of yours. You're making me sick. Damn. Uh, oh yeah. How could someone like you ever know how I feel? How could you, with a healthy body, and control over your zoanthro powers? Stun the insect, God of the lion. So basically, stun. Uh. It makes sense, actually. Like, um... Basically, like, for instance, the lifespan of a fly is, like, a, basically a day, depending. So, I could totally see how, like, his body would be totally deteriorating at this point. Because, yeah. God, that was cool. 
<laughs> not knowing that Gato's not a chode is awesome. He's a big, strong boy. You win. Looks like a superhero. <laughs> <sighs> I still have enough strength left to fight you. Excuse me. Have you seen a young boy around here? Oh. Is something a matter? Are you ill? Oh, your bandages are unraveling. We have to change them quickly. <sighs> Stop. Leave me alone. Stop the insect, Alice. The rabbit. The rabbit. <laughs> Oh, we got the bunny girl back. She back. Guess who's back? Back again. Alice is back. Tell a friend. <laughs> Jeez, it's crazy to realize that this has kind of like, it's like Zootopia and it predates Zootopia. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Oh, that, oh, he's a grapple guy. Okay. He's a grapple boy. Sorry, Alice. <laughs> ah, I gotta try and maybe imitate these voices. Nah, nah. Don't want to do that. Hey, that hurt. Don't struggle. I'm only trying to help you. Leave me be. I'd rather be hated and loathed than object of pity. Ugh. Curse this body. I'm starting to freeze up on me. I could have sworn I heard my sister's voice coming from this direction. But whoa! Holy mackerel! Get away, monster! Ugh, I am a monster. Unable to morph completely into Zoanthro and turn back into human. Don't think that I'm afraid of you! Just because you look like that. Come on, fight me. I should have stayed inside. I should have stayed in my hideaway and waited quietly for death. What was I thinking? Why did I come out in the open in this hideous body of mine? You uh, could come at me, then I could come at you. <laughs> Jesus. Stop the insect. Yuriko the happy. Oh, yeah, Yuriko, right. She was the boss of the original one, wasn't she? She also turned into like a big beast thing. Get ready. She's like a little meow meow kitty girl, apparently. <laughs> oh, that was rad. Oh my god. I can't play this guy well, but he's kind of fun to play. <laughs> Whoa! That's pretty cool. My new has only begun. That was pretty cool, guys. Well, what are you waiting for? You'll never be me. I'll fight everyone. Oh my god, that footage! Oh my god! I have to until I find my mother. She has a family. I had almost forgotten the very word. Never know how many families were torn apart by my research on Zoanthros. Ah! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I didn't get a full grasp of the face and you just like, ah! <laughs> Jesus! I thought I told you not to act alone. Master Long! So, an insectoid Zoanthro. Are you with the Liberation Front? <sighs> no. I don't even mention me in the same breath as those murderers. Stop the insect, Long the Tiger. Long the Tiger. <laughs> Again, punish me, Tiger Man. <laughs> terrible. I'm terrible! I have a strong affection for Meow Meow Kitty Man. <laughs> meow! <laughs> Look at him. He's buff. <laughs> God damn. Hup! <laughs> okay, now I can turn into a big bug boy. Who has really fucking good link ups and combos, I might add. Let's 
try to see if I can finish it. Big and strong. Nope. No big and strong. Just limp-wristed and kind of failing. But hey. God, this game's gorgeous! Look at it! This game is so pretty to look at, honestly. I love it. I am not with the Liberation Front. <sighs> oh. I sense an intense hatred emanating from you and the desire of destruction and death. Are you implying I'm no different from the Liberation Front? They're all fools, puppets dancing on strings held by Busuzima. I gave up on life once, but I can't die now. Come on, let's mix it up. Ugh. What? What can I do? I finally found you, Dr. Goldberg. Or do you wish to be called Stun? Please, just leave me alone. I was quite surprised by what I had learned. Imagine Tylon's former star researcher in a dump like this. Tylon used my research for purpose of evil, evil purposes. Perhaps his body of mine is punishment. It doesn't matter to me. I'm only here to deliver a message from Gado. Huh? You don't remember him? Well, maybe you do remember a lion zoanthro who picked a fight with you the other day. Him. His message is, is foolish to lament the past while ignoring the present. Do what needs to be done today, or there will be no tomorrow. Don't waste what time you have left. So, now I have told you. Huh. Arrogant Gato. Who does he think he is to talk like that? I Sorry, I hear a bird screaming at me and I'm curious. It's a woodpecker. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Why? You seem displeased. Well, I don't like this job either. I have no idea why Gato would concern himself with a loser like you who mopes around feeling sorry for himself. Loser. What are you trying to provoke me? You want to fight? I'm ready. That wasn't part of Gato's instructions, but I'll take you on. Oh, shit. Stunt the insect. Jenny the bat. Jenny wants to mix it up with the insect boy. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Get ready. Fight. Get ready. Fight. Ow. Uh. Okay, let's do it. Ugh. Oh, Jenny is kicking my ass. Wow. She is, like, super good fighter, though. I like her alternate costume, actually. But she has the red hair. It's really cool looking. recovered. Holy shit. Oh my god, that was close! Okay, I'll be back. Jenny kicked my ass, but that's fine. I'll be back. Why would she bother lecturing someone like me? What can I do anyways? Continue? Yes. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> Got her! <laughs> Looks like Mummy's alive now that I think about it. Oh, he escaped the lab and he basically stole Bushuzima's clothes. That's why it's like a weird kind of like stuff. Oh, that suddenly makes sense. Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry. For someone who wishes he were dead, you sure fight like you want to live. Who are you to talk to me like that? Well, well, you can still speak. I bet I know who you're thinking. You're thinking what you can't possibly know how I feel. Oh, yeah? Well, what makes you so special? Y you got a lot of nerve. Do you think you're the only person who's unwillingly turned into a zoanthro? How conceited. Stop acting like you're some cheesy soap opera. I, I wasn't. I just... Just because you don't get to live a long life doesn't give you an excuse to lash out at the world. We all die sooner or later. 
Living a long life isn't exactly a walk in the park, you know. What are you trying to say? Never mind. It doesn't concern you. I just got carried away. That's all. Goodbye. Perhaps we'll meet again. Bushizima. Well, well. What do you want? Oh, so you found me here, eh? I thought you'd be dead by now. I'm here to settle the score. Revenge may be meaningless at this point, but I can't die without seeing justice served. You silly creature. You're a failure. The Titanic of Zoanthros. Get out of my sight. Oh, Bakryu. Would you exterminate this overgrown grasshopper over here? He's been brainwashed by Busuzima. I don't want to fight him, but I have no choice. Stun the insect, Bakuru the mole. The mole. I love the fucking voices in this. It's great. <laughs> this game is just cool. Oh my god, guys. Seriously, support it on PSN. Get, ready. Get it. <laughs> You, like, even if it just means the small chance we get another bloody roar, by all means, man. The fighting revival should mean bloody roar gets back on its pedestal, because it fucking deserves it. It's a cool game. Come on, beast child. Fuck. Got him! Oh my god. That was close. I went quiet because I was like, mm -hmm. Gotta concentrate. Gotta concentrate. <laughs> now it's your turn. Okay. Now just wait a minute. Let's talk things over. We're friends, right? This is what you want, right? That medicine. Yes, you know that, that what this is. It's the cellular stabilizer you need. A little dose of this, and you'll get ready for the Olympic gym team. All right, so just calm down. Ha! It's too late for that. Hey, you need this stuff. To help with you, then. There's only one thing you do. Oh, magnificent leader! Mr. Shenlong, come here, please. Such irritating noise. What is all this ruckus? It's him, the assassin who sold his soul to the accursed humans. He deserved to be punished, and you're the one to do it, Mr. Shenlong. Stun the insect, Shenlong the tiger. Yeah, everyone thought that Godot was the leader, but really, he's actually the good boy. And Shenlong's the dickhole. And Long's the good boy. <laughs> there you go. The inbred white tiger. <laughs> Sorry, I did a lot of research on white tigers, so <laughs> kind of learned that they're not really what you think they are. Okay, let's do this. Fucking do this. Okay. Oh fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh god, this guy's tough. He's tough. Damn! Okay, it's fine. <laughs> what made you think you could beat me? <laughs> A little longer. Don't give up on me yet, body. Continue! Okay, I'll be back. Got him! Oh, this took a minute of concentration there. You can use all the puppets you want, but you can't hide from me. Now just hold on a minute. Don't you get it? This is a drug that's going to save your life. You can even fathom how much expensive equipment it takes to make this stuff. There's no way you can ever synthesize it yourself. Never. Of course, you could just probably get the same effect by drinking fresh human blood, but you're not ready for that insect Count Dracula, right? So don't let pride stop you from doing what's in your best interest. Are you done talking? <laughs> Stay away from me. Now you'll pay. Oh, 
I see. You want to die. You want me to put you out of your misery, huh? I'll do you with that favor. After all, we are with our friends for. Stunt the insect. He's so gross looking. Oh my god. <laughs> Ugh, I hope there's no porn of him. Get ready. Oh my god, he's just like slap happy rhythm bustering my ass. Oh my god. This is oh this is too close for comfort, y'all. Quiet for a reason. Fuck! Oh, that was so close! Oh, he just gut punched me. You come too far to die like this? Like this? Got him! God, he does look like a superhero, but he's like a stag beetle by the looks of it. That's kind of cool. I know I can't change things, and I don't like the idea of people gawking at this hideous body of mine, but I have to take a stand. I can't waste what time I have left sitting around waiting to die. Several months later. We bagged at least five mil at this cape of boss. What do you thought it'd be so easy? Yeah, those Zilf Zoons got every goons, <laughs> Zilf Zoons, Gulf Goons got everyone scared, so scared to slip on the cheap rubber mask and yell Zoanthro, and people start forking over cash. We're like the I IRS, I'm telling you, we're a criminal genius. <laughs> huh? Wait, who are you? I'll tell you who I am. Ah, boss! Ah! I'm a Zoanthro. That's who. Holy shit. Oh my god, he became Spawn! <laughs> he fucking became Spawn! That's amazing! Oh, my 90s heart quivers. <laughs> you may use the term vampire if you prefer. I survived by drinking blood. The blood of the scum who rob and hurt others. And they may be human or zoanthro. The stunned bid a farewell to the world of light and became a creature of the night. Even he did not know how long he could sustain his ailing body. A crimson cape concealed his disfigured form, fluttering in the wind. It played a forlorn requiem to a happy future that would never be. He became Spawn! What a twist! That was awesome. <laughs> this game's awesome! Ah! I love Bloody Roar series. Oh my god. Wow, yeah, this is a good game, y'all. Seriously. Seriously. Get out on the PSN tour. Before the PlayStation 3 stuff gets shut down, too, by the way. Uh, so yeah, this is Edgy Berserker signing off on Bloody Roar 2. We got our spawn guy. Fuck, that's awesome. That is awesome, y'all. Anyways. Uh, till the next episode, I will- Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Coffee caught up on me there. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see y'all later. Bye now.